You'll be using these pipettes to measure one milliliter today. There's a line here that says one. There's a line here that says two. This is one milliliter from here to here. This is two milliliters from here to here. If you have great skill, you'll be able to pull up one milliliter right on the line, like so. But it may be easier to just go past one milliliter. So I'm getting a whole bunch in here. That's about a milliliter and a half. And then I'll just drip, drip, drip until I get to the one milliliter mark right on the line. If I let go now, this is still one milliliter of liquid. I also have some air in here. When I deliver to the small test tube, the air doesn't count. If I squeeze out everything, that's one milliliter in my test tube. This is a centrifuge. It has a lever here to open. Inside is a rotor which can spin. There are six slots in which you can put test tubes. It is very important that you have balanced tubes, meaning if I put one tube on this side, I need a tube of equal mass on the other side. To create balanced tubes, I will add some water until these look identical. These tubes will be balanced. The centrifuge will spin at about 3000 RPMs. As it does so, it's creating a centrifugal force pushing material away from the center. This is what allows it to separate materials. To operate the centrifuge, I put my tubes in, close the lid, make sure it's securely closed, then I turn the dial. It's a timer in minutes. It's now speeding up. I can put my hand on this to feel the vibration. If I balance the tubes well, it will be smooth. This is pretty good. You want to spin your tubes for about a minute, which means I turn the timer to five minutes. And I'll watch the clock to make sure I spin for one minute. It's been a minute. I just turned the dial to turn it off. You can read the warning here, do not open lid until rotation has stopped. Here I will disobey the instructions and open the lid. This disc is spinning very fast and is dangerous. If you were to stick your fingers in there, break your finger. So, wait until rotation has stopped or at least gotten very slow. Rotation has come to a stop and I can take my tubes out. If I've labeled the tubes, it's easy to tell what's what. When you label your tube, please don't write on the white part, write on the glass. Makes it much easier to erase. This red bottle contains ethanol, a kind of alcohol. If I put some on the paper towel, I can erase the Sharpie marker easily.